Hey everyone. Just wanted to go through the nine line because I think it's been well over a year now, maybe two years, since uh, we needed to get to this point. So what I just wanted to do is I've got my three packets, transmissions of where the nine line or how it should be transmitted. But I'm going to be able to speak to these guys over here on this side with kind of giving you the bird's eye view representation of what exactly the nine line is going to be able to do. So in this case, we're gonna use the type one control where I just had that one A10 doing a bomb delivery. And so what I wanna be able to do from that is explain everything of that uh, first video. So right off the bat, I wanna be able to say that that's our target over there. And to the south, Charlie five, we know that by using this keyhole, it's the same thing as an IP, I'll get to that in a second. Charlie 5 has come no closer then, and what does that mean? So our aircraft, as just explained in routing and safety, he's down here to the south, come no closer then, and he's chilling out over there while we're giving him this information. And so the first thing we wanna be able to do is the game plan followed by the nine line. And so that game plan is going to be the type two control in this case, for example, it's going to be a bomb on target and that's the pilot's eyes on bomb on target seeing through uh, the optics of the targeting sensor or his own eyes outside the cockpit at the target. Bomb on coordinate would just be the bomb itself going to a set coordinates. The aircraft or the pilot does not need to see the target. Uh, bomb on target, type of, uh, two control bomb on target, and it's gonna be uh, one by Mark 82, and then in this case, we'll make it shooter cover because uh, I think the video was just a uh, singleton. And so from types of control just underneath your lines one, two, and three, we're going to make that a Charlie five. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Let's do that again. Charlie five, that looks horrible. If the Charlie five was an IP, let's call it Bravo in this case. So I just made a line here. So this would be your keyhole and this would be your IP. So lines one is Bravo. Line number two, your heading. That aircraft is gonna fly 360 degrees. So he's gonna come up north. All right, and the distance, five nautical miles. If you had a helicopter doing that, a rotary wing, all right, this would be a BP for the battle position instead of your initial position. And the five would be four kilometers, right? We have to, maybe it's two kilometers away. You want to park that guy in an area where he's concealed, right? Lines one, two, and three are given in one transmission on the radio. Release the press to talk switch. And then lines four, five, and six. So your target elevation, one, two, three, four. Tank. One, one, Sierra, Papa, uniform, one, two, three, four, five, six. Do I need to give this guy a 10 figure grid? Because if I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, your 10 figures, what's the real accuracy behind that from your system? So systems, I mean binoculars, your map, things like that. If you are reading it from a very precise uh, known database, a mensurated grid, if you will, then that would make sense, all right? But we're not using JDAM, so we don't really need to do that. This is gonna be an error of just over 100 meters square, just because of how you get the information. But the pilot's gonna be able to see that. Next thing I wanna to talk to really quick is elevation. There's the ground, here's a mountain, here's my target. Elevation, line number four is very important because as the weapon is delivered, that elevation is zero. The bomb went to zero. But if you have the same location, but different elevation, that's where the bomb's gonna go. That's how that works. And then we'll uh, just leave that alone for now. Lines number seven, the third and last transmission is going to be, in this case, the talk on that we did through the targeting sensor. And then line number eight is the friendly location. Here's my friendlies. They're observing. 
they are southwest from the target and let's call it 1000 meters. That's always given in meters. That's published down here. And as the JTAC is building this nine line, what he's taken into consideration is that from Charlie 5, that aircraft is going north. He will not overfly the friendly position. And when the bomb hits its target, this fra uh, fragmentation is going away from the friendlies. And then the egress instructions is line number nine. So from here, do I want the guy to whip back? If he's the only air player, he can just uh, seamlessly go back to alpha, right? It depends on so many other uh, factors when using keyhole in this, uh, in, uh, in this scenario. But at the same time, you can keep things simple and just say, you know, proceed into the overhead. And then he's doing one of those guys, right? And uh, so just 08 for the overhead. And then call when ready remarks. Once he's ready for your remar remarks, this doesn't work anymore. The final attack heading, right? A nice big cone there, 330 and 360. What does that mean? So if you plot those um, uh, bearings over the target, so this is 360, and that would be 330. The pilot has to come into that. Now, see how I parked him here at Charlie 5? And now he's going to come onto this angle to meet 330 if he has to do that. He can come in straight for 36, but he has to do an offset. Okay? That's going to be in line number two, if I'm not mistaken. That offset is right. So he's flying in. Offsets right to meet his final attack heading parameters. You don't have to do that, but it's a possibility. And that really sums up the nine line in this case. I'll build a few more out, especially for the laser guided munitions. Um, and then after that, you go into correlation. And that's a video that I definitely want to do on the, the DCS space. So tried to keep it under five. I failed. Apologize. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.